Okay, so you actually uh, I don't think you got any money working for me for a while. How are we going to talk to you today? Maybe. Good. Quite a problem. Which modules have you used? It's not as obvious as you think. Mine light. Yeah, me too. Well, email simple. Pardon? Email simple and mine light. Okay. Maybe mine or something like that. Mine light. I want to mention that one over here. Okay. All the time to move into the 21st century. That's the name. Alright? On there. In the beginning. I know what was going on. There was one way. Um, basically. So I'll then be back to this. The idea is basically you've got a long book. At any given cost, the client will always have an outfit with what bill. We call you that thing. But you have your cabinet and if it comes out elsewhere. If so, if you have any lines a lot that we have then we buy the stock templatized or get analyzed to do that if you want to do that. That's kind of big, really. This has a disadvantage. So, without the other Sorry? Okay, all right, sorry. So, okay. all right, so in the beginning, we have some mail model with mailbox, mail set of mail, mine lights, and they're kind of pretty kind of complicated. They're not as flexible as they could be, that sort of thing. So, it's, it's just, as it ends, shows big, complex, big, yeah, it's a lot of show. Something like mailbox. This is mailbox. This, the rest of the room, that is mailbox. <laughs> this is why there's the email namespace. Mailbox will do everything. So I will show you how Google and then something. a lot more. This is a mailbox. This is not the kind of thing we want to use to email these days. Unless there's something, there isn't something um, already existing. And then you can pull them out of hardware upgrades they have to do. There's mailbox, there's mail. Is that mail? Is that in this distribution? No. So it's mail. That's your fault. Now, I'm going to do the fire sheet. Okay. So, mail send mail. Last released in 2003. Is what that I probably don't want to use that. People who took these flies out and maintained them for the same year, seven years. They do not know your water. So, who knows how many bugs are in it? So, they know well. There's only two bugs recorded because people haven't been using it. Fire and so. Okay. Then there's the email interface. Now we're looking at project. Has anyone here heard of the Pro email project? You probably read the docs for YL samples. It's how you heard it, right? Yeah. Okay, so Pro Email Project uh, started by Casey West, Simon Coons, and some other people, mostly maintained these days by Adam Turney and Rick Sigmund. If you've heard of Coolbox, well, this box is on the Rick Sigmund's RGBS on the IRC. And then if that turns out to be a problem, if you've seen them on RSV.pro, no, we use RGBS every time. So. And the idea of the part of the project is all the elastic loads to keep things simple, you need to be easy to use, load balancing. Originally, the one of the yeah, ideas load was the load balancing, but as we moved over here, you are to a wonderful future where installing dependencies is easy um, and then and it doesn't make which of your own workflows are very, very cool. easy to do but I can do it on phone call elsewhere about how easy it is and I have them on the elsewhere about how easy it is that's not something that we're focusing on these days but anyway the project has mostly done well in and the regards of keeping things simple and easy maintainable and that kind of thing yeah and and with modules like email mind kit and then scales well to the server to that point. Very complex workload. So have much bigger It's a good thing. So in light or rather in following with the now if I keep it simple. We have email stuff which and yes, I email. Credit card property. That's it. I'll put all that. Very simple about it. Um, I'll show you that's what it is. That is it. That is a program that's an email. You just call it with 
the from to the text. What better if you send it to the mother without actually having uh, it? So from address to okay. You know, it's it's very straightforward. So far, you know, it's a lot easier, easier than constructing the message. Having the the number, right? Then the page will not be clear. So. Uh, uh, it, it does all the time. thinking for you mostly. Um, you can do more yeah, common stuff with the attachments, attachments and such. It does not and show that that's a lot, it shows you how to do that. But the idea of so it, it's usually that simple. Uh, Unless you don't have a little number sent for mail, or we need to authenticate against that sent mail, or we need to do templates to validation on the parts of the email. I would have a lot of people are on the which I'm not going to talk about, but it's rather complicated. And um, you generally don't need to worry about it. Generally, you kind of work on the guts of Perl as much as I have. There's a lot of complexity on the mailboxes going on behind the scenes, like addresses with new lines in them. When you're paying, addresses with your own address sign in them, which are actually not the other addresses with space in them. Every part of the is a copy of the five cents. Don't so think about when you're trying so to imagine any of the rest, and that's just the address. Somehow, the thing is, you're still going to in five spaces. You have an expert signature, but I would feel like it's not a common sense. And it's a nice, and then one. Mm -hmm. So, there's a lot more email, a lot more modules. The micro hierarchy remains like a big deal. If somebody, 100,000 megabytes, 47. On the mail things found these. This is uh, the email hierarchy. It is rather well divided by task and such. There's you know abstract address or date date format, and you can see that it's rather well split up by task by like concept. So we're going to be covering if you were the more common things that you're going to be working with when you're doing the modern email in Perl. Um, if you need to do something more complex, why well, would it be email stuff? That is so. Okay. No. Uh, email yeah. abstract is yes. a way to email similar to Microsoft. Uh, basically, like, bootstrap yourself in my Google Way to my hierarchy. What that means is it um, will accept and of course, the nice thing about any, almost any kind of email, object, email message object and I can point out by the way that you have binary and then you can back up a bit. Platform. You can pass it either raw, 2022, 2822, 5322, 5322, RFC message. You agree that you need one object. You need a small object for later. Or you can give it various different objects in different classes. Well, you read the message and create its own kind of object from this. Now, this is useful because. You can take an email abstract object okay. and write okay. it down to an email simple or object. Yourself, you take a first one. Now, email simple objects okay. are the mm -hmm. little frame mm -hmm. are more or less mm -hmm. of email mm -hmm. messages within I don't know. the I don't email interface. So, if we're going to be sending email or processing uh, email anyway, with the, the email namespace, you'll generally want to use the email simple object. object. So, if you have an existing code that you want to move, uh, like actually we need some action the email namespace. Email abstract will probably get you most of the way back. Or them, if not all the way. MID is meta ID. You do ID. So as I say I was watching where you want to play email simple. And the random That's how you create an email simple client. Very simple. It has some methods for setting the headers for you. As a method for the body, and that looks self -defined. rather similar to the email stuff. But as you can see, in other words, it helps if you look carefully, there is no method here, no call for sending the email that it can know. Oh yeah, I was expecting that. So you'll have you may want to send it somewhere. So generally. If, if you're constructing an email message from scratch, yeah, that's okay. you don't want to send it, but you might be processing it. So then, the uh, module that just now sending the email only tell you are kept separate. So you don't always want to send it. You may want to just filter it. 
The long pole and skipping a bit. You have different. Meanwhile, uh, already over in bucket number one, that we won't have that. And all you guys that might come down there. Hey, look! An action, or excuse me, an object just got created. Okay, the, uh, so. If you do indeed want to send an email, and there's that when you have a lot of calls, shockingly, you are sending or sending emails. Shockingly. Now, an important distinction here is that you like your email send, not email sender, has been deprecated in favor of email sender with the ER. Meanwhile, from a reasons of retainability, and robustness. Rick wrote a blog entry on how email sending can silently drop mail when you're trying to send it. In Zero 43, we'll also be there. This is a very bad thing. If you think you're sending an email, you're not sending an email. And you don't get any note without noticing you're not sending an email. And you think you are. This might mean that your bank is not getting an email message or something like that. So you definitely want to make sure you're getting a notice. Like an so, uh, exception if you also are there trying to send mail from other fails. So, say, you use a credit card to buy more. You know, that is dollars. where email yeah. sender comes in. Oh, up your dollar count. You've done a local send mail or something that so, works like a local send mail, you probably available. Available. Excuse me. Like so, Postfix or Qmail um, or XM, something like that. Or something mm -hmm. that implements well, the send mail command line mm -hmm. interface. You don't want to have to buy so, it. it reads it in. My takes five is hard to argue. Then you can use the email sender's and the default, default transport, so which just modern So, how does that look? Where you buy the, the minimal set, which you will always use, that you put through. And then when you expand from 30 up to 100, and then back okay. to 150. So, so, if we want to send the email that we created, uh, it is just well, those two extra well. lines of code. We bring it to the center simple, and we call However, it. However, not obvious. Which cloud is it? There is more than one. Very simple to deliver. Right. Very simple, very easy. Okay. I'm um, prepared to send it under. Do you have one of the send mail configured? Or are just going to send it? Assume we can get send mail. Something like it. What? Something like it. So if, for example, you're on a home machine on a residential connection, you're not going to be able to use this. Because the list of your address is in the line box. Because residential IP is going to use your last So your address is in the line box. Thus, you'll need to um, they all either use your ISP, Smartnost, or they all have email service provider account or something like that. Good okay. examples are Gmail, that kind of thing. Sorry. So if you have an unauthenticated, well, excuse me. Oh, cool. You have a an SMTP okay. server. Now the data that you can send through there's emails and you can build SMTP. Perfect. So let me my people as close to the rag as available go to Facebook. Okay. So now my people is just well so here is a quick simple example of sending um an email on the support base. You create the transport and it has it as an argument to send a mail call, and that's it. And you can see email sender symbol is rather uh, still even when I transfer on in my life. So now that I'm a worthwhile person, and I should not. There's also the TLS <laughs> transport, which you're authenticating against, um, and that is and yeah, generally I was used about for uh, mapping, but something not like Gmail or other ESPs. Can't my own. So if you have a account, with red mail provider, or what is send mail, generally any one, any email provider, the example on the, uh, the synopsis goes to Gmail, and the one with the port, which I always point people to on IRC. Okay. Because they always want to send to Gmail. My people is the friendly devil. So I do you to know that. well. The synopsis. I don't know. I don't like the devil that you have to be in the keyboard though. Okay. For Kona. Of the program, they make my people service better than the standard ones. Uh -huh. There are other variants as well. And 
There we go. Do certain things, it will always work. Nah, it doesn't matter. If you do other things, it will obviously be consistent. So here we go. The part that's relevant is just this right here. It has the username and password that will be And it's generally otherwise the same. Sharded as my SQL, we as to build my work generally. Okay. So we have yeah. different ways to send emails depending on whether we have well, most things that you need, whether we have a local send mail or whether we want to right. try to send mail elsewhere. Were you copying something down, sir? Either one or two. Copying down something down? No, no, no. So, okay. So we have different and ways to send mail transports. Okay. What if we want to do a copy day? Say we want to send a different message using mine. Probably copy. There's a few different ways to do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, any of that. I'll be covering um, today. The first one is email mine, which is something that we, uh, which is the basis of email mine, which is rather advanced. And we'll usually be on what we're going to be covering here today. So we have email mine. And we want to make sure you have the updated, most updated version of email mine. As a structure, I can't do the selection. To read the email by the creator, all my own distribution, then I'll handle it. So, when you have a create message subscription. So, in the event, there's an abstraction of that. It says, whichever event would you happen to see this? So, if it's just that I'll publish the UK, it can run its own. Okay. So, then library for the UK. It needs a long phone. Anyway. So, we create some parts. This is an HTML part. This is right. a text part. You need to know the content of okay. the okay. disposition that got back. And whatever you have they put the row and RSCs are helpful for Google search. It might be just be careful that you're not referencing something. No, about it. No, 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 HTML part here, which is text HTML. And when you send HTML email, you will get a DVI in one part. Otherwise, you may be the other part. But picking it, you will let myself use it. Pitchforks, because then you will be exploring the whole deal. It's evil. Bad. Don't do it. Bad programming. Nobody. I think so. But if I really need We have the two different parts. Create the my email. From address to address. Different way of doing the header parts. Okay. Think. Think. Um, the data for the unicode part is down here. Uh, but so. Uh, AI. Okay. So. If you're looking to set unicode headers and filter the headers, generally, if you're just sending the to you know, your friend, you don't need this unless you print all of this. The unicode is only one. Or you're sending what you put something in not English, you'll probably care about the unicode option for sending headers. If you're going to use the header stir set methods, if you're a or the power of the unicode, you'll this all the time because the unicode doesn't break on the unicode, which everything like that, and like a lot of Which you can then tell it everyone from every show. So, why is that a simplest one? I'm just for that. They take different code paths. It's a matter of how they're integrated. And the other is wonderful. So you can set up one and that will give you the code of the next cell. I don't know, that's what the docs say, so that's the way it is. It doesn't work out. I mean, if your data don't fit on one machine, I said that you would be my own address. Sorry? I had to do it on my own. Mandate? So my code is converted. Yes. This does the proper encoding of the headers for you. And I'm sure you know since you did it yourself, it's really annoying to do all that encoding and silliness and basic to form. But this just abstracts it all into one pretty shiny little method that we just call forget about it. And either so I'm happy about that. I don't like doing more than my data No. I just want to send my email. I don't want to think about things that are relevant to sending the email. So, 
Okay. Moving on to the okay. 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 So, if your business depends on you sending multiple multi-part email messages that are distributed all along, as you can see here, it is generated by calling one of the new on the class with the MKT. Given an M kit is a it's, it's something like a Mac OS ten button in that it's a directory with an extension and then there's files inside of it with sort of all the structure. This may or not may not have anything to do with the fact that the developer of the Mac OS ten user maybe I don't know. It's kinda of like Monday. So you have different things here, the manifest it says here. And it shows that you have a renderer, which is your template toolkit in this case. You have a header, we have a header, which should look familiar. This is a JSON in this case. So this is a JSON hash. You have a different alternatives. This is the parts from the another way of rendering the parts from the online creator. Example that I showed? No. If a crash happens, so then that there are different ways of assembling this. And as you can see, there is templating done on the header from the content. And so that's quite, which is useful if you're doing any kind of automated sending. Got the non players, but we're okay. at least still. Okay. Here's the interesting bit. Yes. Um, it's on I will point out. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So if you're looking to validate one that your might not replicate components that you're adding to your email, you know, line well, to actually work or actually, excuse me, so we're going to have that one or if you're constructing things and you have to variables and you want to make sure your data is right, so I said it's already the server. Hmm. Now we're back into the server design rather than the data. If you're trying to verify the server, you can't do the templates. You're going to want to validate it. So, well, email mind giver or the validator is what you do for that. Now, of course, this hasn't been documented yet, so. We're all. We're going to have to read the source to figure out how that works, but it does. I already mentioned many events, so it requires validate. Here's the thing. Why do you say that? Why not say it's useful? Right? This is for our process. This is the traditional way of doing that. And we're going to go into that. Yeah. And that are bricks. Virtual servers that you record. Every core that you're running, you have to There we go. So, we have a validator here using the bricks. Which is the validator for data. And you want to have your alignment kit whenever you plug log into this you'll try to validate the data you want to erase. All the other ways to do this, all it needs to do when you do the one one process of this is to implement up to the core the more effective class that does validate for the bottom. So I one for and use the hell out of the two. That's the best thing with what thread. And a cooperative multi-casting that is in the event that the programming hurdle is that I have. So, okay. So, okay. As, as you can see here, here I'm not going to go in depth on top of my data breaks and validator as well as the validate role. They, so, you can use this to validate your, your email market objects. It lets you do asynchronous response to the web network. And you need to uh, uh, skip over anything that's confusing. Yeah. It doesn't need the service itself. It's anything that you'd like to see like covered cover the value of the other members of the So it does a point between the server and the user. Any questions, any concerns, um, comments? You haven't given you me a slack or if you have to stop that it down. Couple, okay. No. ESPI. Okay. What about? What standard is it? 
How do they deal with LOS? Okay, um, think about this. Oh, which model? Mm -hmm. Which model do you mean? Um, email sender? By the way, I'm yeah. Not. Okay, um, email sender uses exception. I think you mean the most of the down and the bank of the bolts are going to die and like various things built on die. So you yeah. want to route that in the event. Things will be by that and investigate the other people who get it from the I do know that's documented. Let me see here. So, the customized example or object represents a request to That should be Dr. Call. I believe that is. Arrow within. I'm just checking to make sure. From the handle or object. When you're done processing. Imagine the type of mouse you have here. Yeah, see, um, your failure objects here represent your exceptions. And then still you ask me for finish on the handle or object, how can mouse you use that handle or object? Or my failure of 500. So, in case you didn't know that, the handle is the different case that you have to use to do the handle of the time. Okay. Inception so it extends the no, failure. We're in the event. We're going to look at first. In the event, we only select for the more we put So, okay. Um, typical exception yeah. object has a message of code oh, indicating okay. the 8.7 yeah. status code, like a 505 or a 511 or something like that. Yes. And the recipients, this is a word of message. If you're going right. to determine the first yeah. success, now, if you had mentioned earlier, what was it that you want? So you want to know which one got the message, message and which one didn't get the message? Or so, I'm talking about the question of plumbing. It actually helps me address here, turn to list. The writer says, which email could not be sent? Not this sent. may or may not be all of the recipients. Remember, so keep that in mind. Do you think that I'm expecting to The message is what the video is called. Mail or email or email mail or email. 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 Comment, but the interface looks a little inconsistent. So, um, well, if you go back to your example code, which you want, um, well, let's take a look at the uh, one where you were doing a with transport. This, yeah, and because you're using the header set in this one, and then you showed another example where you could do that in us. Shorten method. One of those servers. You are doing header, and then we're setting all your individual item inside of that. Oh, you mean this? Yes. We are doing that. Just different ways of doing it. Okay. Right, but again, that's we're out of the But I think it's something that's supposed to be you know, simpler. It would be less way you could approach it, or maybe when giving the given introduction to it, maybe it'd be simpler if. There was just one uh, perhaps method used because that because right. that to me would be a little confusing because it makes it look like a completely different and approach entirely, right. not just a simply another module on top of. Plus, it's just the constructor. But you could do the header set there. Yeah, you could change that code to look like the other. So it's something like uh, lightning like serve back and you can mm -hmm. No need for passing the app. Mm -hmm. Header serve set. So, yeah. and I think I saw it at the top of the same book. See, there you go. go. It's just that it's setting it in the constructor. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's different. In the bad old days. You can either set it with a log in the structure where you can set it later. That's that thing. Okay. Like the so either one is bad. Right. Okay. And then, yeah. well, we got three it just seems three to see them both at the same time, the same introduction. It seems it makes it more confusing. Right. Right. Got a request for right. no, you noted the I'll just throw the thing out I shall at least in the future the cover that they are equal. Therefore, the okay. Okay. if yeah. not simplified, once I start talking to the server, I'm always going to talk to the server. 
It, it also seems like you have to know a lot about the actual how emails are constructed still. Even though, I mean, most of them require you to. But is there any module that pretty much ignores or removes the need for you to understand all of the email stuff? Email stuff will do attachments for all this? Yes. With, and it'll figure out the line type and all that based on the file type and do a lot of math talk magic for you. Yes. As I said, that will do all the Right. Unless it doesn't. Okay. I thought you. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna so, uh, how is email by, stuff different from email? Yeah. Simple then. I mean, what's um, where's the line drawn? There? Oh, okay. Side one. Um, um, email email stuff. It is. You however don't create the email stable not yet. So if you need to be, if you need more flexibility so have something like in creating the email message that you're sending, you're going to back. You would use email. You can talk to us about how to be available. Furthermore, if you need more well, flexibility the in how the message gets out, it's connected to the transport. You would need an email sender, transport, email sender, or something. Okay, so. So say I want to send a email with one attachment, you know, an image. I could use, and I don't have a local SMTP server, and I want a residential IP address. You have an email sender with an SMTP and then I just send Okay, so I wouldn't be able to use email stuff in that case unless I'm missing something in the box. Okay, I will double check. For example, if you're the wrong in the past. Uh, this is a pretty tough review module, so um, that's why I'm giving the talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so you can customize it a bit. I need to get my email sender patches for myself. I still need to email send, but it is rather it is rather stable. Ported to file sender, and then it will be less bad. All software is bad, but it'll be less bad. Anyway, I've been using mine like for a number of years, and in that you can you can tell it to send to an external SMTP and do the auth and everything else. And it's it's command structure is a little clunky the way you have the parameters in, but it but it works. Hopefully, what I've shown you here is clear and more concise. Negative one. I'm gonna have to read up on it a little more. I can't remember specifically all the code to know if it's I'm gonna get that very fine. Oh. I like move, but I don't think it gets all of it right to me. That's, that's creating an email object. It's right. wonder if that's much very very can have made. So that's creating an email object. Okay. That's log any free pattern. That's sending log it's kind of like two time. more lines of code. One log to bring the log and one to call it. I'm not sure how much simpler it could be of the uh, automatically you know, getting your lexical scope to do this name yeah. on the import yeah. one and on the end, end the lock. Send you. That's evil. Don't do that. that. Yeah. So that's, well, as far as I can see, that's as simple as you can get. Type check on your email with email. It can sender. prevent type check. You can type it. 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 This email abstract, you can bootstrap yourself finally to email simple or relatively easily from pretty much any kind of email message object. Bonus content that I just thought of. I guess another thing that would be confusing or possibly confusing in the here is where you um, use the sender simple. The sender simple call is just to the um, exported subroutine, whereas the others are all object oriented. Is there any way to have that look like or be called from the email object transparently or semi transparently? Well, think here for You've got your email object now. How about we use the monitor? The computer monitor. <laughs> You've got your email on here, but then you're calling. You know, so you're asking already for the seminal method. Right. Is there any is there any plan to bring that? Because again, I don't really because you're transitioning from one. I don't really see what that would bring. Well, then you would just call email send email send mail. That would be more transparent. Well. If you want that, you know, then unless you want to bring in the mail sender, use based, 
in the email or simple distribution, then you need to okay, get so. the that is how you can email sender to all the transport stuff, and you yeah. may as well just yeah. not do it at that point because it's just so much more overhead mm -hmm. that you'd have to oh, okay. you know, see if the like email sender is <laughs> transport, which is complicated, can be complicated as I said, which means the user would have to pass in transport anyway, and you're just defeating the benefit. In my opinion, at that point, feel free to file the bug and see okay. if it disagrees with it. Okay. Well, I'm not saying it's a bug. I'm just saying it's a, you're using right. Different. It would be a feature enhancement. It, yeah, it would be filed as a bug. Okay. Feel free to file a bug as a feature enhancement and see if it disagrees with it. Okay. Feel free to tell him that after on said that it would be not beneficial or cost would outweigh the benefits. Okay. And see if he disagrees. With it. We've been known to this way in the past. Okay. So, I believe that is about time because I just wrote some more forms there. Yeah, I am just about time. So, okay.